first. I think that we have to stress the fact that uh, Latin America is definitely the most inegalitarian region in the world. Uh, and the difference is really very big. Uh, now, the reason for that, I will not get into this, but uh, there are historical reasons. The fact that the country was colonized by uh, a few Spaniards uh, who uh, were able to uh, share a lot of lands there, a model which was completely different from the model in the US in terms of colonization. Uh, this is part of the story. But in any case, uh, there is a huge level of inequality of income in, uh, uh, in Latin America. Uh, over time, uh, we, over the last 25 years, more or less, we have seen a, a, an evolution which is not uh, continuous. For a while, let's say, uh, starting in the uh, 80s, inequality tended to go up. It was already high. It became much higher. Uh, and uh, the reason for that are various. Probably one of them is uh, the, the fact that uh, the country, all, most of the countries, had some difficulties uh, in the early 80s, a lot of crises, starting in Mexico in uh, 1982. Uh, and then you had uh, this uh, intervention of the IMF and the World Bank. Uh, you had those structural adjustment programs. And uh, uh, those programs were uh, rather, uh, uh, rather hard on uh, deregulating the whole system. Uh, cutting on uh, subsidies to uh, basic goods, uh, uh, freeing the labor market, etc., uh, etc. Et and this definitely contributed to more inequality in, uh, in Latin America. Uh, and there are other uh, factors which, uh, which have played a role. And then uh, the uh, process or the tendency uh, reverted itself more or less uh, at the turn of the millennium. For several reasons, from my point of view, the main reason is, one of the main reasons, is the fact that uh, the, uh, economic the level of economic activity uh, came back to a normal level. Growth, uh, I mean, Latin America renewed with growth basically in the 2000s, partly because of very high commodity prices in uh, the world, but it is true that the 2000s had been a very good uh, decade in terms of economic growth. And then everybody benefited from that. And it is certainly the case that people at the bottom of the distribution who uh, had a lot of employment problems because in, a, uh, within, in an economy with a very low level of growth, uh, you have very little job creation. And uh, with more growth, job creation meant that those people could uh, get a job and could get uh, a much better income. So this is part of the story.